Hi, I'm the Oaks, and that's Sir Walter. Let's go on an adventure. Hello and welcome to another episode here on the Hard Life of Walter the Dog YouTube channel. We are back in our favorite spot here in New Mexico, hiking with our three puppies. We've been here a few times. Uh, there is not much new I can tell you. Uh, as usual, dogs are on leash. We're watching for rattlesnakes and... Um, making sure the oil workers don't get upset at us. But I want to use this as sort of an opportunity to talk a little bit about land policies. We are here in the American West, obviously. We're in the state of New Mexico, south, eastern New Mexico specifically. And if you know anything about sort of Western history, have paid attention to some stuff coming out of the American West, you know there's been a lot of conflicts about like who has access to land in the west land usage fees associated to cattle ranching or federal lands that people like want to have in private hands but then don't want to pay the fees that you would have to pay for private ranching grazing water usage etc so it's it is quite an explosive subject matter so i want to takes this episode a little bit to tell you about the land we are walking on here and other lands in the area. Um, before we even started walking the dogs in this region, I did go to the New Mexico State Lands website as well as the Bureau of Land Management website to figure out Where's public land? Where's land that the state or the federal government own in this region? Because obviously, with weapons the way they are in the United States, I was concerned of not wanting to trespass and getting shot, obviously, especially having a, a kid. And I looked at this region, and the place we're hiking on here now, where we start is actually a parcel owned by the Bureau of Land Management. And when you look on their website, they actually have a couple of different um, lease options that then are indicated. So for example, the parcel where we started and parked the car has an agricultural lease on it. So some guy is, some rancher is owning it or leasing it, not owning, very important here, leasing it. Um, in addition to that, we also have an oil and gas lease on the land by the ConocoPhillips company. But then as we walk towards the oil wells in the region, that is undetermined. Um, all three of the maps do not indicate, or all the maps that I've looked at, I also had a physical map, indicate that those parcels of land apparently are in private use. Again, I have run into the oil workers in that and talked with them and they were fine that we were there. And one of them, as I mentioned in a previous video, actually gave me his number and was like, hey, if you see a leak, give me a call. So that was very nice in kind of our relationships there. It, it's very common that you will find leases of this nature and in this regard, it's also very difficult to determine field boundaries because, yes, there is, um, as we see in some of the videos we have here and later in this video as well, there's barbed wire fences. But these barbed wire fences don't all align precisely with the boundaries of the land parcels. Like, technically, there is, like, further on, we have a barbed wire fence that goes north to south through this area. Um, it technically does not connect with an east-west fence. The cows literally just roam free between these different 
north south parcels of land um, but there is a dividing line in the north south fields and again there's no 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 fencing so it is very difficult to figure out exactly sometimes where where is one property ending where is another property starting and then dealing with these issues we had a police officer one time come out and he was talking to my wife because I was still locating one of our free-ranging dogs at the time and he kind of in a somewhat offensive way basically was like look people take, get shot out here and if you walk on people's land you get shot I had another time where a police officer stopped and kind of was like hey I'm just want to check in if everything is fine and also like want to check maybe made up story that he wanted to check if the car was stolen or not <laughs> um, but we had a good conversation and he was kind of like yeah you know as long as you don't mess with the stuff from the oil companies they're fine with you being around it it's just they don't want you to touch it so um yeah that that's sort of like what we went with in a different location in the area where we um, went previously a few times but then eventually abandoned because we we didn't actually feel safe anymore it was a little bit more complicated in regard to land ownership so this was north of of hops where we lived and we again had looked previously to make sure like okay what what are we dealing with because again we we wanted to be cautious we didn't want to trespass on people's land and the parcels of land we were looking at were um, owned by the state again it was state owned land it again looked like that oil companies had a lease on them and then for agricultural purposes it was the commissioners of the county that had a lease on that land as well so it was no outside of the oil companies there was no no private individual mentioned for um, the two parcels of land that um, the road cut through and then further down like the road went through some public land uh, private land and then on to some more public land again um, and again there was no private individual mentioned on these it was just the county that was mentioned and an oil company um, we had seen some people there before the county had um, a quarry further down the road that's a, it was a dirt road on the edge of town and we had run into people from that you no know, issues I'd run into like a guy that was watching animals and yet kind of waved and never had much of a conversation with him he didn't seem to mind that we were there but at an, on one occasion we actually ran into a, a I ran into a farmer and I was on public land at the time and he was like what, what are you doing here and I was like walking my dogs and he was like um, you can't be here and I was like well it's public land I can't be here and it it sort of was like well that's a matter of opinion and it's sort of like what <laughs> what are we talking about well it's 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 public land it's in the you make like a land status map that it's public land and there's no private name here for for land usage so it got actually to a point where we had another instance with that individual we were solely on public land at the time and hadn't even crossed over into this the privately owned pieces that we could see um, we had restricted ourselves to just the public land areas and the guy again was like well it's a matter of opinion if you can be here when I said it's public land and they were a couple of pickup trucks and driving in the area after after that encounter so it was getting to the point where we were feeling like we were being run off so it you have to be very cautious because farmers do not necessarily respect private uh, private public land distinctions and it's always good to kind of watch out and kind of check the maps and be cons be aware that you can be on these lands um, get your um, permits from the state that you have the outdoor recreational ability on these lands 
um, but it doesn't like you could still have issues with these farmers because they're just sometimes obnoxious people in the way they um, handle things or I've learned it's good farmers really good nice oil company workers but they're also the bad farmers that are not very nice so that's a little bit about the story here with regard to us hiking on these lands in New Mexico so kind of the logistics of things um, maybe a little boring I hope you at least learned a little something here we'll be back next time with another video and we'll get very soon to the great videos that we have already recorded in Austria now and to give you a sense of the beauty that Austria is in comparison to New Mexico. Um, if you like this material feel free to hit the subscribe button, leave a comment and um, hit the notification bell so you get more videos when they come out.